Good day, everyone. Uh, I was just experimenting on a little uh, circuit, as you can see right there. Uh, every value that you see there are correct, beside the capacitor, which can be kind of uh, anything depending on the frequency. And as you can see, there's a little light bulb here. This is my 28 volt little uh, light bulb. I think it consumes about 20 milliamps at 28 uh, volt. And here's the little circuit, very little component. And those are two 10 nanofarad capacitor and they're uh, rated for 100 volt each. <clears throat> and right now I'm supplying this circuit with five volt from my little uh, power supply that that's scavenge from uh, something. And as you can see, the light bulb is actually lighting. It's not super bright, but it's working. And this is my input current, 90 milliamp. And this is the waveform uh, between the two collector, so directly on the light bulb. And right now, uh, my setting is at uh, 0.5 volt times 10. So that means 5 volt per division. And as you can see, I have about 17 volt peak and uh, it's quite impressive for 5 volt input I'm getting that uh, wonderful sine almost sine wave there and also being able to light up this uh, little light bulb I'm pretty sure I could find out some something more useful to do than lighting a light bulb with it but uh, I just thought it might be worth showing so if people have any idea and I'm gonna switch it to 10 volt here and as you can see, it gets very bright. And I have to scale down. Now I'm at 10 volt per division. So I have one, two, three, let's say, so roughly 35 volt right there from 10 volt power supply at still 160 milli milli uh, milliamp. It's not bad at all. And if I disconnect, the uh, light bulb the waveform doesn't change much we probably gain about uh, a couple of volts here and the amp draw just simply went down again which is not that bad of course I'm running the circuit with uh, regular 2N222A transistor so they're not able to handle lots of amperage and right now just with 160 milliamp going through them they're actually a little bit warm so I'm still waiting for my <clears throat> higher power transistor and this circuit probably will be something worth uh, testing and for the inductor they can be technically anything from a couple of micro Henry to some milliandry so and you can actually use one of these which are kind of a transformer they will actually work too you just need to uh, center tap the reverse so they are uh, one uh, 180 degrees off phase of each other and it works if I use this one it start to squeal so I'm not gonna use it but here it is, <clears throat> here's the schematic again, and like I said, the value of most component here are actually not critical at all. You can play with the resistor, you can play with the, with the coil, and of course uh, you can put LED there. My first test was actually off 1.2 volt, and I had two LED have two LED here connect uh, one in reverse of the other and they were working quite fine of course I I'm not quite sure how much power I can actually draw from that circuit if I if you draw too much it's it stop and then goes into short circuit so that's actually not something you want all right thanks for watching